welcome back to another video. I'm actually starting this one off in the car again because I'm filming a shot with me today, which I'm so excited about. I'm actually currently sitting outside of Zara, which is literally like my favorite store. I'm so excited to go in and see all of like the pre-spring and spring wardrobe pieces that they have. I'm gonna be picking out a bunch of pieces to share with you guys for a haul. So I'm super excited to do that. It's honestly probably gonna be so hard. It always is to narrow down my choices, not spend literally like a million dollars in the store. But I'm gonna be going to a whole bunch of different stores today, including like H&M, Nordstrom, Ulta, Sephora. So I'm definitely excited to bring this camera along for a little shopping adventure and of course I will show you guys everything and do a haul when I get home later today. So I'm literally sitting in my back seat. I just got out of Zara and they had literally the cutest stuff, but I just want to give you guys a sneak peek at one item. I have you guys like balancing on my seat. Hopefully it doesn't fall. I'm noticing that for spring, a very like pastel, baby blue, pistachio colors are coming in. And I'm just gonna show you guys one item. It's this pistachio colored like long sleeve knitted crop top and it has this gorgeous button detail going up the front it is a square neck i picked it up in a size medium and it was 35 dollars. so it's really really good quality very thick and i'm very excited to style it and obviously show it in an upcoming haul i think my zara haul is going to be the next video that i film but right now I'm gonna head into H&M and I think Ulta and Bath and Body Works. I know I have to pick up a new foundation because I'm all out of mine. And then I think I'm also gonna pick out a new perfume at Ulta. Looking from your telescope, take me on this journey home. I don't wanna wait no more. Let me turn behind the moon, tell me you'll be on real soon. I don't wanna wait no more. So I just parked the car and I stopped at Starbucks really quick because I am starving so I got it to hold me over until I grab dinner and I just got an oatmeal and I always get the blueberry oatmeal it comes with blueberry and then two packs of agave it's like the quickest snack and it's pretty healthy for the most part. And then I just got an iced green tea matcha latte and I get mine with soy and two pumps of sugar-free vanilla. It tastes amazing. And as I'm waiting for my oatmeal to steep because it takes like about three to five minutes, I have been looking at some nail inspiration on my phone. I've been saving a bunch of stuff on Pinterest because I am going on a trip in a few days. So I have a nail appointment tomorrow to get my nails done. And I always get something like very neutral or French or anything like that. So this time around, I wanna do something fun, maybe something like this, definitely some pink incorporated in there or maybe like purple or blue. I think this design is really pretty as well. I also think pink French would be so cute, but I don't know. I have literally like so many ideas that I've been filtering through and I cannot make up my mind. So I will probably make up my mind like five seconds before the manicure. But I think these like purple swivel hearts are so pretty. So I'm just gonna eat this right now and then I'm gonna go hit up another mall. I wanna go to Nordstrom, Sephora and Urban Outfitters maybe. And then I think I'm gonna pick up Chipotle for dinner which I'm so excited about. And that's it. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad features. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. You see her walking down the boulevard. She got the posture of a superstar. She looks so fly in those Gucci slides. Yeah, yeah, I wonder what. 
but she hides under her disguise. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all the girls around the world, they wanna be yeah. And all the dudes are trying to score like it's fever. She lives a double life, puts on a show. What's under the subtle smile? We'll never know. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something about her features. You'll find her beauty goes much deeper once you get to me. So I just got back in the car and I think I'm going to do a quick run to Home Goods because there's one literally like five minutes away from here and they usually have really good stuff. So I'm gonna pop in really quick, see what they have, and then I'm going to grab some Chipotle for dinner. And then when I get home, I'm gonna haul everything that I got today. Baby, you could keep me going Cause you've been everywhere Let me take up all the love you're showing I need it more than air And you know that I've been suffocating You could be the one to help But my issues are nauseating I don't wanna bring you down I just wanna be free from the free You feel love for the first time So I'm back home and I picked up some Chipotle for myself. I am literally starving. I'm so excited to eat this. I just got chicken, black beans, white rice, sour cream, and then romaine lettuce. And then I always grab a side of chips, sour cream, and some of this like fresh pico. So I went ahead and hung up all of the pieces that I picked up from Zara. I literally found like the cutest um, pieces. I'm gonna give you guys like a little sneak peek right now of the different clothing items I found. I'm actually gonna be filming my full Zara fashion haul today, so it should be up about two days after this one. So definitely stay on the lookout for that if you want to see like an in-depth haul. And obviously I'm gonna try all the pieces on and explain them and show them in detail. Okay, so it's actually like a week later and I just noticed that I forgot to haul everything that I got from Home Goods and the mall, so I'm going to do that now. And I'll also pop in a clip of my nails because I did end up doing a fun, colorful design. But as soon as I got back from the trip, I immediately switched back over to French. Colorful nails just never last on me and I always just feel more myself when it's like neutral and pinks and whites. Right now I'm just gonna haul really quickly what I got from Home Goods, and then I'm gonna move on to all the stuff that I bought from the mall. So first up I have these gorgeous lamps and I've been looking for really pretty lamps because I got a new bedroom set but it's not coming in until the end of May. So I am saving these for then, but they're by the brand Tahari Home. But I've noticed that this designer in particular has the cutest decor and especially the lamps. They have this really pretty like cream and beige swirled pattern on it. And I think they're gonna look so pretty on our new night tables. It's actually like the shade of wood. That's my dining room table. So I think the beige and the creams really are gonna look good against it. And then the lampshades are just a plain white linen and I absolutely love them. I think they look really clean looking. So I'm really excited to use them and put them in the bedroom, but I'm not gonna do that until my new set comes in. And then in the home section, I actually found these gorgeous little cake plates, I would say. They're not as big as a normal dinner plate, so they're almost like a cake plate or a salad plate. And they have little pink butterflies on them. I don't know if you could tell if the camera's picking up the pink, but let me see. 
It says they're made in Portugal, so there's no designer here, but I absolutely love pink and I love butterflies, so I picked up a few of these and they were only a couple dollars. And then I also grabbed the matching to the plates. I think they're little serving dishes, but I think they're the cutest. And I think these were only $8 a piece, which is really good. And I'm just so excited. I think they're so aesthetic and very cute. And they're actually like a nice convenient size. They're not like huge. I think maybe putting like appetizers or like steak or meat or anything to serve on them would be really nice. So over here I picked up some little stuff for the TV stand. How it's decorated now is it definitely not how it's staying. I'm trying to like figure out what I want to do up here. But I found this really cute little white textured um, glass container and it has gold detailing which I like and we just keep our spare change in here because we didn't have any place to put it before. So I thought that it would be cute just sitting up here and I have it on top of a book with some little crystals and then a plain vase that has nothing in it. I'm just gonna put some flowers in it. When I go to the supermarket, I'm gonna grab some. And then over here, I actually found this really cute clock on clearance. And it reminds me of the clock from Beauty and the Beast. So I think it looks so cute, it's kind of like vintage French. And I haven't put batteries in it or anything like that, but I just think it looks so pretty. I don't even know if it's gonna stay up here. And then I found this Chanel book. And I love looking for designer books when I go to like Home Goods, Home Sense, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, because you could find them obviously for way cheaper. I think this was like $35 and I love the pink spine that's on it. I have a pink spine book right there as well and I'm trying to tie in a little pink here and there because I do have pink running throughout my rug but what I really like about this book is if you don't want pink and you just want like something neutral it's like a linen material black which I think is so pretty but I'm just really excited that I found a good little designer book because they are hard to come across. So next I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up from Sephora. And I've been seeing so many people use these and they are the Isle of Paradise self tanning drops. And I picked mine up in the shade medium. They're for your face and for your body. I have not tried them yet, but you're supposed to like mix them into your moisturizer. It says to put one to 12 drops. I'm probably just gonna put like three or four, but you just drop them into your moisturizer and then mix it together obviously and put it where you want to be tan. So I do self tan my body with Love and Tan. It's literally my favorite tanner. I use the two hour express in the shade dark, but I do not put that on my face. So I picked up these to try on my face. So I'm definitely excited to test these out and hopefully they work. So the next thing that I picked up from Sephora was their best skin ever foundation. It's just by the Sephora brand and it comes in this glass container, which seems like really nice and high quality. I actually used this while I was away and I was really blown away with the quality of it. It actually did give a good amount of coverage. My friends also borrowed this from me because it was so good. The shade that I got was 29Y just because I did want a little bit of a deeper shade, even though I didn't really get that much of a tan, but this is really good. I plan on doing a full video using this foundation. I do want to get into more beauty type videos as well. So I'm gonna be filming that video soon using this just because I think it's a good lightweight foundation that does provide a good amount of coverage for like the spring and the summer months. So I did pop in Bath and Body Works as well and I haven't even opened this up yet since I bought it. But I did grab two candles from their aromatherapy line and it's the Vanilla and Patchouli scent. I just think these candles are so pretty. They're a single wick, but I think the black metal tin top looks really pretty against like the label, which is like a rosy pink and then the wax is obviously white but I am so picky when it comes to my candle scents. I like very like light, not too sweet scents. Vanilla based scents are usually my favorite and this literally smells so good and fresh, not too sweet or overpowering because like my throat will start hurting if a candle is too strong or anything like that. So I decided to pick these up from the aromatherapy line. I think they were doing like a two for $20 um, single wick candle sale. I don't know, I think they were doing a sale though and that's why I ended up picking up two but I am so excited to light this. I'm definitely gonna do that later today. And then from Ulta, I grabbed a new perfume. I just got the Ariana Grande Sweet Like Candy and I actually have it right here in the bigger version but 
I wanted to get it in a smaller version to like put in my purse and stuff and this literally is so good I love all of Ariana Grande's scents, but the cloud definitely tops the cake. This one is my favorite but I just got a little rollable size of sweet like candy and then I also grabbed an eyelash curler. I actually don't own one. And this one is just by the brand e.l.f. It was really cheap. I think it was like three or four dollars and it really does make a difference with lifting the lashes. And then I picked up my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and it's literally my ride or die foundation. I wear it all the time. Every time I'm filming a video or taking a picture, I have it on right now. And it just gives you the most like flawless, angelic, like baby skin textured, um, very smooth. So I definitely want to do an updated makeup routine of all of my favorite products and just like a step-by-step -step makeup routine. I've been using this foundation for literally like two or three years now. And it gives like the most smooth, almost like real life filtered, um, flawless skin so it's really soft to the touch as well and every single person that I put on to use this absolutely loves it it works on so many different skin types I actually used it on my friend for her wedding I did her makeup so I'm gonna be doing an updated makeup routine using all my favorite products including this foundation and I pick mine up in the shade 3w1 so I'm definitely gonna be filming a makeup routine with this very soon Next I have H&M and I honestly wasn't that impressed with the selection they had at the store but I did find like one staple item there and it's this little black dress and I think it was like really cheap let me see of $17.99 and I just got it in a size small it's like a nice ribbed lightweight material and I actually bought this with the thought in mind of taking it on vacation with me but I literally forgot it at home it's still sitting in the bag with the tag and the receipt so I'm gonna wear it obviously in the upcoming months it is getting a little bit warmer here I do live in New York so it was actually like 35 degrees yesterday so there's that, but I will definitely wear it soon. And then the next store that I went to was Airy, and I did already wear all the items that I'm gonna show you. I took them away with me. So my favorite piece from Airy that I picked up was this tie-dye, almost like cropped sweatshirt. And it's like in this neutral tan and cream tie-dye pattern. I think it is so pretty. The colors are like right up my alley but this is literally the softest piece of clothing that I own. I don't know what it is about this material, but it feels literally like butter. I think I'm just gonna go get the sweatshirt in every single color that they make it in. And they also had matching biker shorts to this. So that would be a really cute set if you're into that, but I definitely think I'm gonna go back and pick this sweatshirt up in a couple more colors. I wanna see if they also have solid print as well, but I definitely think I'm gonna get biker shorts too. So I highly recommend picking this up and Aries always running sales. But while I was there, I grabbed two bathing suit bottoms and it's so hard to find nice quality, good bathing suits that are very flattering. So I find that the Aerie High Waisted Bottoms are really flattering. So I picked this one up here in like this really pretty peach color and it almost has like a terry cloth feel to it but it has like this gorgeous peach and cream color going throughout it and I just figured that I could wear it with a basic white top. I already had one. So I did take that away with me as well as this plain black bottom. So it's just the same exact cut except in black. And you can never go wrong with a black bikini bottom just because it pairs with everything. So I got those two and then I also picked up a like plain t-shirt and I don't know if you could tell but see how it's almost like a see-through material and I thought this would be perfect to throw over my bathing suit or something really lightweight when I go and walk and eat breakfast that is exactly what I wore it for I picked mine up in a size small so it is oversized to begin with this came in a ton of colors but I just picked up the standard gray and then I grabbed these sage green like soft shorts and it's this ribbed material but it almost feels like terry cloth they were really comfortable and this color is just so pretty it's almost a mix between like a green and a gray and it does have a little pocket on the back which gives like really cute detail and i picked mine up in a normal size small they fit just really good and i paired these two together like all the days that i was there when i ran to get breakfast 
And I really like these as well because they had little pockets on the front. So definitely check out Airy. I always get so many of my spring and summer like staple pieces from them just because they have like really cute styles and everything's like super comfortable and soft. So that wraps up everything that I bought during my shopping trip. I really hope you guys enjoyed coming along. I definitely had so much fun bringing the camera with me. So I'll definitely do more shop with me videos if you guys enjoyed it. I will also make sure to link everything that I showed in the video down below just in case you guys want to check them out as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and definitely don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this. But that's all I have for you guys today and I will see you in my next one.